Hello, Joelle Brandt here again, relationship coach. Um, Dr. Dabby is still not available. So I figured I'd get online and talk to you about the third intimacy dream that she hears a lot about. And I actually think this one's pretty interesting. Um, when it comes to dreams about being intimate in inappropriate places, um, I want to remind you, just because you have a dream does not mean you should take it literally. It does not mean that you're automatically going to change your behavior and start acting inappropriate or anything like that. But the dream is trying to tell you something. Um, what it could mean instead is let's think about the general situation. When it comes to a dream of wanting to do something intimate in an inappropriate place, um, that might be you're, you're doing something outside your comfort zone or you're breaking a rule you would never consciously consider doing. So this could mean you've been holding yourself back somewhere um, or conflicted about something. So for example, you know, do you feel like the guidelines at work are making you feel stifled? Uh, do you have a chance to cross another line somewhere but aren't even considering it? Uh, that would include taking a risk somewhere. So maybe instead of joining the family business, you want to pursue, you know, pursue a art career, you know, or something along those lines. So dreams about stepping out of your comfort zone can often mean that you've lost touch with part of yourself, um, or you're allowing yourself to be stifled by someone or something else. But a part of you wants to rebel against that. That's the side that your dream is trying to tell you to consider. So another interpretation of this dream um, is one that I'm not really familiar with and you know I love talking about dreams with Dr. Dabney and for the most part that's what you know when we have our talks sometimes I tell her about a dream I had and she kind of helps me see the different um, interpretations of it. So another interpretation of, um, of having a dream about being intimate in an inappropriate place is that you already stepped out of your comfort zone. And something that you've done is now making you feel anxious. So maybe you took a risk and told a specific someone how you felt, um, or maybe you're anxious because, or maybe you're anxious because you don't know what's going to happen from telling this person something. So now this dream may be actually telling you, like, hey, you are anxious about what could happen because of what you said, um, or someone's going to see you um, and possibly judge you for being outlandish or just inappropriate and then maybe remove themselves from you. I mean, there's so many different layers and levels of things when it comes to dreams that, you know, I really could probably go on and on. Um, I know Dr. Dabney can. She knows so much about these things. I love listening. Like, again, I love learning from her. Um, but I will say, dreams about stepping outside your comfort zone can mean you're not sure you can live with the rebellious part of you, as you fear like it may make you lose control or lose someone you care about. So if you are having that type of dream where maybe you don't know if you can rebel or you don't know if you can make that decision, such as like, okay, let's say the family business, you know, do I want to take this career or do I want to stay in the family business? Um, at that point, it's like your dream is telling you to really think about it because there's no right or wrong answer. So the dream is helping you just kind of have that inner dialogue maybe with yourself or maybe it's going to push you to talk to someone about, you know what, I had this dream. It's really not about having intimacy somewhere else. I think it's about the fact that I really want to tell my parents that I don't want to do this. Or it could be, you know, I really want to tell my spouse I want to retire now. Like, there's so many different things. So I would say when it comes to this type of dream, you know, think back if you have it, right? If you have this dream, think back over the last day or two. Did you take a risk somewhere? How did you feel about it? You know, can you come to resolution that your life and relationships are about balancing and staying in and stepping out of your comfort zone? I mean, neither is right or wrong. Neither is bad or good. It's all about really listening to yourself and your dreams and which one is right for you, given the circumstances. Um, that's the biggest thing that I have learned from 
you know, from, you know, Dr. Dabney, from other people is just when it comes to dreams, it's really kind of, you know, it's, it's a, it's a warning bell or a, like a red flag. I wouldn't say red flag. We use that for different terms. Um, but a dream, any type of dream really is your subconscious mind trying to kind of get your conscious mind to think a little deeper. So again, for this dream, you dreamt that you had, you know, intimacy in an inappropriate place. You know, it doesn't mean that. What does it mean? And those are the questions that you want to ask yourself. Um, so that's just, you know, a little bit of what I've learned um, from Dr. Dabney. Hopefully she'll be able to come to you guys next Tuesday. But I've enjoyed being able to get on here and talk to you guys. Again, remember, if you ever need anything, you can always call our office, go to any of our sites. Um, and I do know that I spoke about it last week. But her beta program, her Intimacy Now program, that is going to be starting, I believe, next Monday or Tuesday, May 6th, whatever May 6th is, I kind of forget. Um, but that's the date. And again, like I said before, you know, with that program, it definitely gives people tools on how to kind of fix your relationship now. Um, I said it before, too. It doesn't mean you need to be in a relationship to get this program or be a part of this program. Um, because it also gives you tools on how to go about any type of relationship. I mean, whether it's with a significant other, a child, a family member, a coworker. I mean, we have relationships all over the place. You know, there's not just one type of relationship. But when it comes to relationships, there's so many different dynamics that, you know, this Intimacy Now program really talks about. And it will help you, you know, work, home, you know, pretty much anywhere. Um, so have a great Tuesday, and hopefully myself or Dr. Dabney will talk to you again next week.